DJ Yuli in town and welcome to Exposure, the show that exposes the show. Today's artist is Larry Jackson and I must admit he is multi-talented. He's a soul singer, he's a PhD candidate, he's a lecturer, he opened up his own dance crew. What can't you do? Anything I'm into, son. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing how do you balance all this work? Like, I don't understand. There's a lot of people that I know are struggling with balancing between the entertainment industry and just working a 9 to 5 job. Listen, I'm, I'm not a, a master of any of those things that you, uh, you have mentioned, but I try by all means to, to get to yeses. You distracted me there. Can we start? Cut. Um, so yeah, um, try to balancing everything that you have mentioned. It's, it's, it's not easy. It's quite tricky, but um, if you have passion about something, you try to make time and you make it, you make it work. You make it work somehow. Yeah. You yeah. do realize you, I am intimidated or intimidated already. By what? So <laughs> by you having a PhD, no, no. being a PhD candidate. No, no, that, that is not the thing. Anybody can be, become a PhD candidate. Even so, you you started, you started singing in a choir. Yeah. How, 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 how did that come about? Tell me more about that. Uh, well, it started off at a very young age. It was a school choir. Um, so from there, I just started writing my own songs. Um, joined and how old, I, how old were you when you started writing your own songs? Do you, I don't remember because I was still in primary school. So probably nine, okay. ten, I think. Yes, yeah, only eight. Uh, but uh, and then I joined an a cappella group in primary school. The name of the a cappella group. We did not have a name. We were still kids, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but well, the, the main focus was that we we performed uh, a lot of these school concerts. Yeah, and yeah, from there, that's when I transitioned to uh, to dancing. I uh, did ballroom and Latin dancing, and so I got introduced to hip hop dancing, which is and, and you did promise me to teach me. Something after the show, right? Yeah, after the show. <laughs> teach you something, something after the show. Yeah, um, yeah, from there, started, I carried on with dancing and then filling up again with music, you know. Um, that's when I started recording my first song, which was titled uh, Hello. Was that your first break? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was my first break in terms of uh, the music industry. Um, of course, remember from uh, being an artist, I was always in the limelight in terms of performing. You know, so for me, transitioning from dancing into uh, 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 an artist who performs as a musician, it was more of an easy thing for me to do. So I was just from one platform to the other, but um, my piece was already made. Who did you work with on your album? Uh, no album. Yeah, Mabi. Mabi. Mabi all. I worked with Mabi, I worked with uh, uh, Catch22. And I work with uh, proper. How, how did you find the experience of working with them? Very professional, eh? Those, those guys, they really know what they do, mm -hmm. uh, what were they doing. Uh, they, they have passion for their work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I man, it's exciting to be in the studio with them and when you learn from, from, from another person, more especially the producers. Because me, myself, I cannot produce, I can write music, lyrics, and stuff. I can, I can perform and to produce that I can't. So they know what they are doing when they're in the studio. You can see when I'm on the I bet your fans out there are very curious as to what advice you would have for them in terms of the entertainment industry. Um, don't burn bridges. Um, be always, like, always have yourself to help others in the best possible way you can. Because you can do it, you can make it on your own in, the, in this industry. Try to make many connections as possible as you can and always upbeat yourself. Your, your song reminded me of this group, Liquid Deep. It's a group, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it reminded me, especially the, my, is it my girl? The girl of my dreams. The girl of my dreams. Yeah. That, 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 that melody reminded me of Liquid Deep. Did you listen to Liquid Deep? Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, those, are, those are one of the people that uh, really get me going uh, and listen Influences to the work. Yeah, your, your Zion, his Zion, yeah. the guy from yeah, yeah, Deep, yeah. your Jay something from uh, uh, Mikasa. Mikasa yeah. um, this guy, uh, Jiko Banks, but he's from the, uh, the UK. I really like those sounds. Uh, the type of music they do, they really, we are within the same line, I can say that. 
Yeah. Do, do you have any upcoming work that you could use account for? Um, yes. Um, but it's going to discuss. It's a project that I'm working on, but it mostly is uh, single base. Okay. So it's not going to be like an, an EP or uh, an album, just singles. Because I'm right now the main focus for the year 2023 is just to try to collaborate as much as I can. Because uh, in the past I was not collaborating. Well, I was collaborating with producers, but uh, not as an artist or an artist performing artist. So that that is literally my plan for now to collaborate with a lot of people as possible as I can. So yeah. Can you ask about how you're going to be in my game? Like, who are you thinking? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Does it mean that there is somebody special in your life? Funny enough, The Girl My Dream is literally the only song that I wrote, and it was about something that I was going through. And it was about a girl. Mm -hmm. it's, it's literally, when you, the lyric says she's a girl of my dreams, mm -hmm. but she's not with me, she's with somebody else. Oh. You understand? So there was this girl, man. I really liked that bit. I could not do anything about it because he was already involved in the relationship. But, but you know, she got you. She got you writing a nice song. Like yeah, she does not even know that I wrote a song for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, ah, no. There's no need for that. Exposed. We are exposing. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I, I, I enjoyed your performance, and I really loved. Your, the whole performance, yes, I don't want to lie. Um, so, where to program? Like I said, we collaborate, we do more shows. Um, I'm one person that believes that I'm not waiting to be booked, you know? Yeah. They book me, guys. Also, every artist wants to be booked, but if the platform is not given to you, create your own platform. <laughs> Why should we book you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? You know? So create, do let's do our own shows, <laughs> our own events, and then they will see why they should book us. How was it like being exposed? How's the platform doing? Beautiful shout out to Flo. You know, that's, that's, that's my boy. The main man behind. Yeah, us. you know, uh, when you reached out, uh, there was no way I was gonna say no. Mm. Yeah, so it, it has been um, an experience. Uh, I'm grateful, man. Yeah, so 
Sandra Sandy 